So what's up with the market? Um, country properties, rural properties, farms are still really hot. People are looking to get out of uh, suburbia and, um, and tight little subdivisions and move out to the country, whether it's homesteading that they're looking at doing or just you know, a better place to raise kids out in the country. So they're, they're very, very hot commodities. They've really risen in price over the last few years. Um, and they're, they're still a really, really tough thing to find. They, they're on the market for days and that's it, especially if they have outbuildings um, people are looking to, to garden, grow their own vegetables. See, these are all things close and dear to my heart. Um, they're looking to get chickens, maybe some animals, a cow, a horse, whatever. So um, if you're looking for a rural property, there are lots of things you have to pay attention to. Water quality, um, testing, septics, you know, all sorts of stuff, and uh, NHST because if a property has been used for business, uh, raising cattle, selling eggs, things like that, it's hst -able. Plus, in general, um, HST is applicable on anything more than a couple of acres. Um, you buy the house on, on a set piece of property, and then the rest of the land is considered vacant land, and vacant land is hst -able. So you need to talk to your accountant and your lawyer about that to ensure that you're prepared for the extra fees on closing day. Um, that's, that's it for today. If you're looking for more information about country properties, I'm happy to help. I've sold a few. Take care. Bye for now.